you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another red hair video today i'm finally doing my root touch-up slash red hair refresh routine this is exactly what i do to kind of get my hair back to this nice vibrant red that it is when i freshly color it i'm so sorry that i couldn't get this video up sooner as you guys know if you watched my previous video april has just not been my month um and it just kind of like keeps going in like a snowball effect so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to may and you know what it's gonna bring and just kind of having a fresh clean slate and you know be able to get these videos going much smoother for you guys i don't want this intro to be too long so we're just gonna jump right into today's video before we do please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're notified when i upload a video on that note let's begin all right you guys so there's actually two different ways that you can go about touching up your hair when you are red and that's basically going to depend on your needs and your wants if you are someone who colored your hair the first time and you feel like it could be a little bit brighter and better, then you can actually just go in with the L'Oreal High Color once again to lift your hair color a little bit more. The color won't be super bright. It's just going to lift maybe like one to two levels depending on how dark your hair is. That is an option you have if you want to brighten up your red hair as well as touch up your roots. I personally am happy with the shade of red that I have. So all I want to do is lift my roots to match the rest of my hair. And then I just wanna redeposit the red onto the rest of my hair. In the past, I used to go in with L'Oreal High Color all over my hair every single time that my hair would fade. And I don't recommend using L'Oreal High Color too often or every time you want to refresh your hair because it will eventually start to cause some dryness and damage. So with that said, let's go on and get into the application. So as you can see, my roots have definitely grown in, I'd say around maybe two to three inches. Very, very wide, but I do this on purpose because obviously I'm using a high lift hair dye. So I'm not trying to overlap what I previously did with this new hair color on top. That can obviously lead to a lot of breakage. And you know, I already have enough of those little flyaways at the top of my hair. I do not want more. So over here, I'm just applying some petroleum jelly. You guys know that's just my favorite way to protect the hairline, the back of my ears, as well as the back of my neck. So once that's all set, we're gonna go ahead and pop some gloves on. Make sure to protect your hands because red hair dye does not play, honey. It does not play. It will get everywhere and it will look like a crime scene. So next you're gonna need a little mixing bowl as well as a brush. For a developer, I'm gonna go in with 30 volume. This is just what I like to use to kind of lift my dark hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure out what I need for that. And then for my hair color, I am going back in with L'Oreal High Color in the shade Magenta. Taking two boxes for my roots, that's pretty much what ended up working out for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those in with my developer. Pretty much the same thing I did in my original transformation video. We're gonna want that nice cream consistency and then I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair so I usually like to do about four little section I do these little 90s of fun buns over here and you know just clip it out of the way and then kind of just work my way through the back and work my way towards the front I'm not very specific with my root application as you can see here I just pretty much make sure to coat everything as best I can because my roots have grown in so much I actually like to go in with my fingers and really kind of melt it through the root and just really make sure I'm saturating everything because there's nothing worse than leaving your roots out when you're recoloring them it's just so embarrassing it's definitely happened in the past but I feel like my root application has definitely gotten better throughout the years. So yeah, just make sure to go through and really feel out the roots, make sure everything's nice and covered up. And yeah, just basically doing the same thing all throughout the hair. I'm gonna let you guys watch a little bit of my technique, you know, definitely not a pro, I've said that before. Um, and I'll be back to explain the rest.
So once my roots have been all covered up, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the ends of my hair to get them out of the way. And I like to let my roots process for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's just what I feel comfortable doing. I have done 30 in the past. Um, if your hair is a lot darker in color naturally, definitely go with 30. But yeah, 15 to 20 is what works for me. Once I'm out of the shower, this is pretty much how the hair is looking. So I can tell my roots took really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair with my Fabulous Pro blow dryer. You guys know this is one of my favorites. However, recently I did discover a new tool that I'll be talking about later on, but yeah, still do love this blow dryer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get our hair about 80% dry. So you don't want it fully dry, but you don't want it soaking wet. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on one of my super fashionable trash bag t-shirts. You guys know I love this little hack to protect my clothing because red hair dye does not play. For my semi-permanent hair dye, I'm going in with Arctic Fox's Wrath. This is the most perfect color that I found to be the best match to the L'Oreal in magenta. It's a gorgeous, deep, pink-based red. Just honestly gorgeous. And um, this bottle is really big, so it lasts me a long time, so I find it's a really great value as well. Then you're gonna wanna go in with a sulfate-free conditioner. So here I'm using a L'Oreal Ever Pure, and this is the moisturizing one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply about equal parts of both of these products into my bowl and mix them together. Once I have a nice consistency, I'm gonna begin to apply this to the ends of my hair, basically all the areas that I didn't touch when I did my roots. So go ahead and take your time with this process and really make sure to saturate both front and back of all your sections and really just get it in there. The great thing about this technique is you're not opening up the cuticle in any way or causing any extra damage that is not needed. You're simply redepositing that red back into your hair just to make it nice and vibrant and fresh and just gorgeous and mermaid vibes, you know, mermaid vibes. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is honestly the easiest part of the entire process. Everything just glides so easily. It's way less messy than the original application we did on the roots, so. I'm just gonna continue repeating the same process all throughout the hair until all the ends have been fully saturated. So once that's all set, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my hair again into my two little fun buns and I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about an hour. I like to do it that way to make sure that this hair color is really staining my hair as best it can and overall just lasting me as long as possible. Once my hair has been washed and blow dried, this is my result. So pretty much the same exact color I had the first time around I colored my hair. Absolutely love it. It didn't lift it in any sort of way or darken it in any sort of way. So I'm super, super happy with these results. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is how I touch up my roots and refresh my hair. I currently have my hair up in a bun right now because I'm actually working my nine to five job right now and I'm filming this quickly on my lunch break because I wanted to create a little intro outro moment for you guys and not make the video super awkward, so. Yeah, I quickly had to get myself together today. As you can see, my roots have grown in a little bit ever since I filmed those clips about a month back, but you know, nothing crazy. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope I answered everyone's questions about how I go about retouching my hair. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.